I was in Jordan prepping Survivor Arabia when the unfortunate incidents and disaster of um, September the 11th, 2001 occurred. And I did have all my containers of equipment in Aqaba, which is the port on the Red Sea in Jordan. And we're prepping to shoot in an area near Wadi Rum where David Lean had made Lawrence of Arabia. And of course, um, two big, big occurrences for me, I mean, outside of the disaster of the world, you know, um, one was I had, uh, I think, 50 people, well, three things really, I had about 50 people there of various nationalities. There were no air flights. I'd spent a couple of million dollars of CBS money on this prep. And thirdly, all my containers were in Aqaba. Well, all air travel stopped, the money was spent, and no containers were certainly going to be leaving Arabia for anywhere. Right? The whole world stopped, if you remember. And so, you know, I had various um, calls with His Majesty King Abdullah that week, who you know, asked me, was it possible to continue with it? Because if ever the region needed something uplifting you know, and showing that business could continue, it would be Survivor. And I said to him, Your Majesty, I, I need to um, deal with CBS and find out. I spoke to Leslie Moonvis, who you know, told me what I already knew, which was, you know, we can't be shooting there on the Saudi Arabian border in Jordan, Wadi Rum, this week, this month, this year. It's just too, too much of legalities and insurance. And um, what are you doing to get your people home? And basically also said to me, and what are we gonna do? And I said, well, I, I feel I have to check, but I, I would imagine the insurance covers this. And Leslie said, or well, maybe it does, but that's not, not gonna cover the advertiser commitment. You need to find somewhere else. And I said, Leslie, it took me like eight months to prep for where I am and we're shooting in eight weeks or something, 10 weeks. He said, you'll figure it out and hung up on me. Put the phone down, click. I was like, whoa. <laughs> and I did figure it out. You know, that's what makes Leslie Moon is a great leader. You know, he knew the kind of person I was and I'd worked, I'd now made at that point, uh, what was that? I'd, I'd made two survivors, right? And nine eco challenges. So, you know, I waited till the first flights were leaving America and uh, did research and figured out where was the most peaceable, non confrontational, no political area. And it was French Polynesia made the most sense. South, well, not French Polynesia, but South Pacific. And someone on my crew. Um, whose name was Kate Hall. Her father was Conrad Hall, the cinematographer, and they had owned a place for many years in French Polynesia and had some relationship with the government and set me up a meeting and I flew there with the entire heads of department team, probably 15 people, maybe eight days after September 11th. Met with the head of that country and then through various things happened, huge long story, which I don't have time for right now, but we chose the Marquesas Islands and um, produced season four. Uh, um, and in the middle of that prep, by the way, I was also producing Eco Challenge at the same time. I had to fly from there. So I, I, I've prepped for Arabia, I'm all set, and I'm gonna go from there to New Zealand to shoot Eco Challenge and lost my prep on Arabia, had to find a new location in eight weeks, which would normally take eight months. I had to bring in a cruise ship because there was not enough places to house the crew in the Marquesas Islands, remote, remote islands in the South Pacific. Couldn't even put tents up because the groundwater was too high. If people were peeing and doing their business, there's no way it wouldn't be environmentally hurtful and we can't 
a support there. So a cruise ship was brought in, you know, which cost money, obviously, and which CBS approved. And then I left there to go and produce Eco Challenge in, in New Zealand and then flew back straight into Survivor. That was like a crazy three months. But, you know, it was what it was.